So how would you define what psychology means or what psychology is? It really depends upon when you've defined psychology. So in terms of the history of psychology, prior to about 1929, psychology was defined as the study of consciousness. Notice, it's not the scientific study, it's the study of consciousness. From about 1930 to 1970, the definition of psychology changed. We were dealing more with the scientific study of behavior. And you may be asking, well, why exactly was that the case? It really has to do with the influence of behaviorism or the dominance of behaviorism during that period of time. And we'll be talking about behaviorism as a, a paradigm in psychology shortly. And from about 1970 on, psychology has been defined as the scientific study of behavior and mental processes. So we're really looking at two main things in psychology. We're looking at overt behavior, but we're also looking at uh, mental processes, which could involve the physiological basis of behavior or cognition for that matter. According to another definition of psychology, psychology could be defined as the scientific study of behavior and the factors that influence it. One of the things you're going to notice in a course such as this is that psychology, or a lot of terms in psychology, have overlap with other disciplines, such as sociology, for example. We could say that psychology has overlap with a number of areas, such as biology. We would say that certain psychologists are biological psychologists, and they're interested in the physiological basis of why we do what we do. We could say that there is overlap with anthropology, so we have some people in psychology that are cross-cultural psychologists, and that may be their emphasis. We could also say that there is overlap with sociology. In fact, a lot of the terms in sociology you'll find in psychology. We have people in this discipline referred to as social psychologists. We also have overlap among psychology or between psychology and computer science. This ties more into the realm of cognitive psychology, and then finally, we have overlap between psychology and medicine. And this can take a variety of forms, anything from psychiatry and abnormal psychology to health psychology. Which raises a question, what exactly do we mean by science? We could say that science is a process, it's a way of understanding the world, but it's certainly not the only way in which we could understand the world. And psychology involves a number of steps. First of all, we make observations about the world. Then we formulate these theories. These theories then are ultimately tested. Now in our culture, many people may see their perspective as scientific. They make observations and they formulate these theories. However, science involves more than just this armchair speculation. The whole testing and the testing of hypotheses is a big component of psychology and science in general. Another question you might have is, where exactly do psychologists work? Many psychologists work in private practice. In fact, that might be your stereotype of what a psychologist is. However, we have psychologists that work in institutions, such as hospitals. Other individuals work in colleges and universities. And also, we find psychologists in industry. There's two main branches of psychology. We're dealing with the applied aspects of psychology as well as the basic aspects of psychology. And your question may be, well, what's the difference between the two? What's the difference between basic and applied psychology? Let's look at basic psychology first of all. Basic psychologists are more likely to work in a university setting. These are individuals that are more likely to be non-practicing psychologists, although we do have practicing psychologists in universities. Basic psychologists are more interested in research, so knowledge for knowledge's sake, and ideally it would be great if this information was then applied to applied situations. You also find that basic psychologists are more interested in teaching. So to summarize, the two main things that basic psychologists do is that they're involved with research and they're involved in teaching. On the other hand, we have applied psychologists. Now what exactly do they do? This is probably a reflection of what your stereotype is of what psychologists are and what they do. Many psychologists work as clinical psychologists and others work as counseling psychologists. The bottom line is that applied psychologists work in the field in applied ways, usually working with people in some capacity.